Number three. I'm Jerry from PressureWasher.net and Sirocco Vacuums, and I want to show you the interconnect between the new sand trap leaf trap and the auto pump out tank on a vacuum system. We have the air mover connection coming to the top of the tank where the cage filter protects it, of course. We've got two waste in ports on the clean, on the, on the dirty water side with the screen in between to protect the automatic pump out, of course. Okay? And we have the auto pump out connection on the top, which is going to go to a pump out hose so we can deliver the wash water, the wash water to the landscaping or a holding tank or wherever it needs to go. Okay? When you have a lot of debris being sucked in from something like a vacuuming surface cleaner, we're going to have a uh, we might have a lot of debris being sucked in when you get off a sidewalk like in a parking lot or parking garage There's gonna be a lot of debris So we want to be able to suck the water into a this big pre filter which we call a sand trap This one has a, a mud bucket and, and leaf bag So the inlet drops debris into the mud bucket and leaf bag. Let's say you're cleaning rain gutters out This is a cool tool for cleaning out the rain gutters because you can just lift out the bucket, lift out the bag, go dump them, bring it back, put it back in, and life is good. If we're just using it as, as a sand trap, we're, we're going to take these out. We don't need that in there. We've got a slide-in screen that keeps anything bigger than a medium-sized sand from getting sucked out, out into the auto pump-out tank. And I want to show you there's a fitting on the side of this can so that the water level only comes up halfway in the can. Then the water overflows out and gets sucked into the side of the auto pump out tank on the dirty water side of the auto pump out tank. Okay, so when the water and the air are sucked into the sand trap, the water separates from the air, of course. We've got an air connection on the top of the can that connects to the, one of the waste in connections on the auto pump out tank. And as the water level comes up in the sand trap, instead of having to lift the water up higher, we're allowing the water to overflow into the side of this tank so it minimizes the suction required to get from the sand trap into the auto pump out tank. This reduces the suction necessary to, to, uh, to function and it makes the automatic pump out more reliable and it uses less fuel to run your vacuum system. This is a real improvement in performance on these systems. So this has a huge dirt load capacity by comparison to just an automatic pump out tank. And again, these can have all kinds of different filters set up in them. The inlet could have uh, uh, burlap sacks for stopping debris from paint stripping and paper stripping. It could have a, uh, a, a sock filter for catching uh, dust and debris from dry vacuuming. Uh, it can be used for sucking out rain gutters with leaves and sticks and mud. There's so many different ways this can be used and it doesn't care what tool it is you connect to. You could use a bulk pickup tool Here's a good one. The trolley systems have a lot of sand buildup on the trolley stations. A, a, a bulk pickup tool could be used for sucking up the sand out of the tracks and dump it into the sand trap. Then this thing on a, on a dolly can be wheeled over to where it needs to be dumped and dumped out. So none of the sand would get into the auto pump out tank. These are very, very multifunctional tools. The more you tell us what you need in functionality at the job site, the more we refine our tools for your performance. The Sirocco vacuum is doing a good job for you.